Like the X-Men? Well, do you know how important they were for the civil rights movement? Let's talk about it! So the X-Men are a team of super people known as mutants, created by the incomparable Stan Lee after the success of Spider-Man and some other comics from Marvel. I had already done Spider-Man, the Hulk, and Fantastic Four, and my publisher said, give me another book, Stan. We're going strong. Let's do some more. Well, in order to get a new superhero, you have to think of what his or her power is. That's not too hard, but you have to figure out how did they get that power. So Stan creates the first iteration of the X-Men, which includes Professor X, Beast, Angel, Marvel Girl, and Cyclops, and they fight the dreaded Magneto. He made them a new classification. They weren't super people. They were mutants. They were born with a mutation in their DNA that caused them to be born with superpowers or to have the recessive gene that an event triggers their superpowers. Now, at this time, the civil rights movement is in full swing, and Stan has an idea. He recognized that the same inequality that the mutants faced in his comics were the same inequalities that minorities are facing in the real world. So he did something bold. He decided to take the two most prominent voices of the civil rights movement, Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, and model Magneto and Professor X respectfully after them. Magneto, an oppressed Jewish child during the Holocaust, would start to model after Malcolm X and his by any means necessary method. We can't live with the humans, so fuck them. Whereas Professor X was modeled after Martin Luther King's maybe we can get along, maybe integration could work type methods. As in, not every human's bad. And Stan started putting in scenes like protests, scenes like hate crimes, uh, discriminatory scenes. Certain characters like Mystique and Beast and other characters with colored skin would have direct monologues about how they hated their skin color and they felt like they didn't belong. Now let's be real. The comic community and the nerdy community, myself being a part of it, um, can have a tendency to gatekeep. Like white gatekeep. And so when readers would write into Stan and be like, take the politics out of this. Why does it have to be about politics? Just give us our super people. Stan said, bump that and open Stan's soapbox and wrote whole, pause to read if you need to, wrote whole uh, dialogues basically telling people, get over yourself. Racism's real. Let's fucking fix it. So next time you watch the X-Men, don't watch it as super people versus humans. Watch it as black people versus white people every bit of dialogue every bit of government interference watch it that way and you will never look at it the same way again watch it as if magneto is malcolm x speaking and x is martin luther king speaking it changes it and shout to the king big ups to the ghost stanley babe rest in peace